Oh, oh, speaking of Halo, um, or uh, discount Halo, uh, y'all remember Splitgate with Halo with Portal? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's getting a sequel. Oh, cool. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they shut down the original game to work on the sequel, or they quit development on the original game, even though it was getting traction. Uh, mm. to, like, well, to, to, to do a sequel, because they had bigger ideas, and just kind of wanted to well met, start from scratch. Jonah, I, I want Portal with tanks. <laughs> like, that was, like, just a online, like, multiplayer thing, right? It didn't yeah. have, like, a story or something? No, it was online. It was, it was, it was multiplayer strictly, yeah. Interesting. Because normally, like, if you have that sort of setup, you would just be able to, like, push your updates through and just kind of work on it that way so i'm curious what a sequel is going to mean in this context yeah i i imagine this is just me speculating but i imagine there's something technologically they wanted to do they couldn't do on their old engine got it that makes sense i'm not That's... expecting them to pull a titanfall and just go from <laughs> online shooter thing to fucking the campaigns and yeah a bunch of stuff yeah, I don't, I don't expect that either. It, it seems like they just want to make a, a fun multiplayer game, and Splitgate was super fun. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. This is Bastion Primus. We're under heavy assault. The orcs are back. And they cut power to the sentry. The orcs are back in town. They took out the generator. We couldn't defend it against such numbers. We had to fall back. The Ultramarines and I are almost at your position. Mirror out. So chunky. I hope the screen shakes when you run around in the sequel. I feel like that's an integral part of the feel of this game. You are large. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe that's why I like this game so much, because it, it makes me feel large and in charge. Where in real life, I am merely large. <laughs> <laughs> this game wants you to know that you're triple meat, triple cheese. Uh, uh, plasma guns. Ooh, Ooh. Plasma gun. You gotta yeah. pick it up. You gotta pick it up. Okay, but I don't. Oh, I'd have to swap out weapons. Uh. Uh. Fuck it. Oh, is it just gone? You, you only have three guns now. Oh uh, yeah. Oh no, because uh, remember when I lost all my equipment? Yeah. Or. I think I, I just never picked up another gun. <laughs> oh yeah, because you got the hammer the whole time. Were you able yeah. to grab one there? There's not one. It's just a uh, just melee weapons. I oh, see the hammer and the other one's the chain sword. I see. The, I yeah. See. Wow. Okay, the power axe is cool. Mhm. Mm we haven't used the power axe again since we dropped it the first time, so might as well. I'll just vaporize this orc. Jesus, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Forward. Love a charged, slow moving fireball. Oh, slow moving fireballs are the best. Relatively slow moving. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. I, I saw that grenade indicator, and for some reason, my first instinct was to try to throw it back. <laughs> if only. That's Helldivers right there, sneaking through. Even though I haven't played it in ages. We well, did Helldivers don't throw from... it. It's true, they kick it back. Mm hmm. No, you, you, they, they kind of throw it. They, like, crouch over and, and smack it. Oh. Hmm. I only know Mouse 1 in that game, so... I don't, <laughs> you'd, I don't you'd think I've it... gotten a single melee kill on anything. <laughs> you'd make an excellent pyro player. <laughs> about out of plasma shots. Does ammo and it overheats? Yeah. Oh man. There's ammo to your right, I think. Yeah. But the advantage is that it, it goes through armor yeah. pretty well. It would help if I could aim too. Well the game like actively doesn't want you to. <laughs> yeah. It, it hides all the controls from you to aim. <laughs> yeah. I go into the menu and it just says a bunch of question marks. Just says this isn't in the codex. <laughs> <laughs> For more information, type slash these. Oh, that that should be like a like a 
a mechanic where you play as like a guardsman and then looking at your manual or your menu is, is heresy. And, but So you can't do it when the commissar's around. <laughs> That'd be silly. Oh, oh shit, I got a. Oh, oh man. no. I forgot He's they could do that. Shit. You did the same thing to you. Uh, come here, come here. Get him, get him, get him. Clash. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. That's it. That's a chunky kill. Oh, uh, yeah. Brought to you by Campbell's Soup. God, with the Tyranids in Space Marine 2, that game's gonna be so gross. It's gonna be oh, great. Yeah. Just goop everywhere. Also, we're not compensated by Campbell's Soup, but we could be. <laughs> Campbell's brand Tyranids. <laughs> They're already white and purple for the most part. It's not a long stretch to paint them white and red. And then you get Andy Warhol to make a to make like a pop art out of them. Oh There's my a gosh! Gene, their faction units is a uh, Andy Warhol gene stealer. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe just gun. Andy Warhol. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If I got power up the sentry guns by following this big tube. I know extremely little about Warhammer War, but now I'm just thinking about like various like pop figures, like where they would be. Oh yeah. <laughs> obviously, obviously Bob Ross is Nurgle. It's all about <gasps> teaching you to love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Martha Stewart is Zinch, of course. The schemer, the planner. Yes, so yeah. You see, I would see Bob Ross as Sneech. Because, like, he's drawing paintings, right? And his paintings would be prophecies and shit. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, he's and, just like, teaching you about all the nice colors of brown that exist. <laughs> and, like, Martha Stewart, she's all about indulgence and self gratification, which is definitely Slanesh, if you ask me. Oh, oh geez. Oh, getting put in the blender, goddamn. That's a isn't that a new style of orc? We haven't no, seen. No, those are the like these, these are the the armored yet. the armored boys that we saw earlier. Oh, we have. Yeah. Okay. They're just really motivated. It was back in the desert. I think we saw them. Hmm. It's also been a while since we played. It has. It's a life shit. Mm -hmm. It always feels like, like with how far those grenade indicators are, you know? Yeah. It feels like enemy grenades just have like three times the radius of your own grenades. Oh, I believe in it. Games like that, like. I definitely believe that they're larger, but like with how far you had to run to get that indicator off, and it was already <laughs> thrown behind you, not like <laughs> at you. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous. You're not wrong. Game devs are sneaky. They do lots of tricks here. like that. I was hoping my uh, my rage would uh, fill up by then, but it didn't. Oh well. I, don't, I think it might be hard to beat the Kraken Bolter on this one. Honestly, it's it's got a headshots. Yeah, that's really accurate. Except for that guy. There we go. Yes, that was his plan. That's a lot, guys. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to aim while you're in this mode to slow down yeah, time. Yeah, if, if I want to hit something further or far away. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm more concerned about everybody directly in front of me. Grenades. You got it. Yeah, I was already tossing them. 
I'll just keep that seat gaming for you. <laughs> They had demons and orcs inside this one. Yeah. And we know we're getting Tyranids in the next yep. one. What do you think our like second act faction is gonna be? I'm gonna guess uh Necrons. Mmm, so that'd be good. Today. Necrons would be cool. Tomorrow. They also because... haven't really appeared in like another recent 40k game that I know of. Mm, not in any of the well. Not any of the... Oh gosh, I haven't kept up with 40k g k games at all. Well, so. I know, like, Dark Tide is a lot of, um, like, Nurgle stuff, right? Yeah, Dark Tide is all Nurgle for the most part. I could see Tau. That would be cool. The reason like, I think it's, uh, Necrons is because... Okay, so, in this game, you fight the Orcs, and the Orcs are numerous. Uh, but they're not particularly tough on an individual level. But then you run, the, then you run into the, the the Chaos Space Marines, who are much fewer in number but much tougher. You get and the so, same dynamic. Yeah, so the Tyranids, big number, lots of squish. But and then the Necron, low number, hard to squish. Yeah, I could see that. For the attack. That's that's my scientific analysis of what's going to happen in Space Marine 2. And I don't know for sure, because I don't think there's been any leaks, because if there were, I would have looked at them. <laughs> that would be cool, though, because then you could fight the battle suits. Uh, <clears throat> or, don't uh, they, like, only fight in mechs? No, they have infantry. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the infantry have, like, like exosuits, but that doesn't make mm -hmm. them particularly tough. Yeah, uh, oh. the Fire Warriors, which there was a PS2 game for the time. Yeah, it was like, it was like it's a Quake. Fire Warrior. Yeah, it was like a Quake clone or something. It wasn't very good. Mm. I never played it. Uh, me neither, but I watched, a, like, a retrospective on it. Hmm. Huh. I did like playing as the Mandana War, though. Oh my god, the grenades. Yeah, the only other reason I would suspect Tau over Necrons is because Ultramarines, Tyranids, and Tau appearing in one setting has already happened. Hmm. And it wouldn't be surprising for me, uh, to me, for them to want to replicate that in some some of the games. Yeah, I can see that. I'm just gonna stand back here like a hero. Get that oh, shield back. He's he's on a mission. You don't need to bother him. He's decided he really wants to beat up your NPC friends. Right. Oh, we're way back at the start of the area. Get into the hero corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hero corner. It's good. I'm gonna use that. Alright, you're charged. Yeah. I thought you were busy, sir. And he took the long way around. Right. Okay, good. I didn't have to clash with him. He's one of the orcs that wants to be brutally cunning. So he, <laughs> yeah. so he took a long flank. You know what? I'm just going to hit the button. That's a good idea. Maybe that'll give me a save date or something. Oh, hey, there we go. I should have done that a minute ago. Oh, yep. man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was too busy in my hero corner masturbating. <laughs> Titus finally turned on the bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like chewing them up. 
Well, all right. A lot better than the sentry turrets they had in uh, Aliens. God, yeah. See, they should uh, they should have upgraded those to the flame turrets, like in Fireteam Elite. Mm. Mm -hmm. them, them bitches was OP. Yep. Bump Just into the doorway a little bit there. <laughs> well, I don't know. You'd have to be careful, because if you fight the Drukari or anyone that's Slaneshi, your your shock sticks won't work very well. <laughs> they might like it. There's piles and piles of dudes. Yep. It's just a hallway for all corpses. That's what the Slaneshi like. <laughs> piles of dudes. <laughs> There we go. Here's some more goodies. Get back uh, a full kit of range, probably. Yeah, I kind of. Uh, do we have a Delta gun? No. Yeah, might have to little for. Oh, oh hey. what's that? Another audio log. I'm not gonna listen to. Oh yeah. That was I'm five not... of five of Lieutenant. I don't know. <laughs> that is a Melta gun. <laughs> Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Probably dead. Well, wasn't that second Lieutenant Mira who we've been playing with? No, the the log. Oh, okay. Oh shit! Oh, he threw you over the edge. <laughs> what a twist! Yeah. Oh, okay. The way the planet's going, I'm about to give it to him. Oh boy, is this one of those? It, it looks like it's one of those fights. You it's get a, to play, a, it's a, you get to play a, a bullfighter. A Joker Titan fight. Or Bane. Yeah. I think that's technically the first one that you fight there. It's been a while since I've seen an LP on uh, Bane wasn't in Arkham Asylum, I don't think. No, he was, because you hit him with your car. Yeah. Oh, he brought friends. Yeah. And a lot of grenades. Ow. You gotta do your dash out of the way. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh shit. Ow. <laughs> He's all grim skull. Extra wide. Extra wide is correct. Oh, at least there's like uh what do you call it? Uh, Mid-fight checkpoints. It's, it's more generous than I expected. To be fair, it was like the second thing to happen in the fight. Oh wow, he just oh. kills you one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, I mean, he's as big to you as you are to like a guardsman, so... True. But you do have that melt again. Well, you got another checkpoint. Oh, you don't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably because of the, the melt again. Just melting him. Also, it, like, goes through him and hits the dudes behind him. Yeah. Oh, he's using his gun now. Yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy raid boss over here. With all his mechanics and shit. Oh my god, I haven't talked to you guys about it yet, but the the new raid series in 14 for Dawn Trail is incredible. It's some of the best content the game has ever had in terms of like fight mechanics and stuff. Uh, and the music is amazing. I mean, the music's like always good, right? Oh yeah, it's illegal for Final Fantasy to have bad music. That's true. Unless no, my, my, my biggest enemy. So what uh, mechanics like make it so good? So uh, there's there's a. Uh... Oh, that was quick. 
So when you're fighting Honeybee, the second one, uh, there's this mechanic where uh, you get three empty heart counters over your head. Every every character does. He's gonna come back. <laughs> That's not gonna kill him. <laughs> I mean, you you never see his head. Yeah. After <laughs> after the shot, it, it's always obscured. No, there it is. He's fine. Oh, yeah, he's definitely coming back. <laughs> but, uh, so, in the Honeybee fight, you get three heart counters over your head. And then, uh, every time you get hit by a mechanic, uh, it doesn't, they don't do a particularly a lot, a lot of damage, but it fills up the heart counters. And when you have all three filled up, you fall in love with Honeybee, and you're stunned for, like, ten seconds, and then that's when you start really getting hit. <laughs> oh. And you have to run around and stuff, uh, to avoid just, like, shit tons of, like, hearts flying around. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, uh, there are these, like, stack mechanics. And so, like, stack mechanics, everybody stands on one spot and spreads out the damage above, across everybody. Mm -hmm. And one of those will give everybody a heart. And then there's mechanics where four people have to stand in four different spots, uh, that are gonna explode. And if, four, if, if there's not somebody in each spot, then it hits everyone. And then those will give you a heart. It's, it's so fun. You're just running around constantly. Uh, it's a hoot, and then the music is great, and she's like a she's like a maniacal like bee themed idol girl, it's so fun. And there's a in the first fight there's a there's an attack that will knock you up into the air and onto a, a another part of the stage, and if you land on a damaged part of the stage, you go flying through it and die. So you have to make sure that you get not it gives you an indicator of where you're gonna land. You just have to make sure that you haven't landed you're not landing on. A, a spot that's already busted. It's, it's super fun. Wasp themed starlet by day, bee themed by night. Yeah, basically. And her 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 theme song is like this like uh this like girly pop uh tune that's full of her like being mad at you. <laughs> She's oh, like, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. It's like, I think one of the lines of the song is like, I hope you don't mind if I kill you, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, it's more of our, uh, uh Chaos Guardsman friends. Oh, you need cover. By friends, I mean huge assholes. <laughs> <laughs> 